Of course, it's the 30th anniversary of Nike Air Max 90, and I haven't even bought an actual shoe, but I did buy an Air Max 90. Probably the smallest Air Max 90, but also the most fly Air Max 90. It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ3 swoosh trains technically coming at you guys today what is going on so yeah let's just get it out the way okay I had something that uh, was going on so hence I actually have on makeup I never wear it you guys know that so it was something awesome something special so yep I had on makeup so if you see me looking a little bit different you know you girl had to be a little extra for what was going on but thank you again so much for tuning into this video if you are brand new go ahead and subscribe Let's rock with each other in the comment section. Ah, we're almost to Air Max month. So when you guys are seeing this, it's not officially Air Max month yet. That will be in March, but we're right on the precipice of it. And we know that it's the 30th anniversary of the Air Max 90. So that's exactly what 2020 marks. Back in 1990, we received the very first look rendition release of the Air Max 90. Now it provided an expansion of the air bubble itself from what we knew um, when it came to the Air Max one and look at the, you know, the profile the way in which they boxed in the bubble. They usually try to accent with a lot of fun colors. I am a big fan of the 90. Now, some think it's a little bit bulky, but I am a big fan. It does its job of being breathable <laughs> as well as stylish because it does at least offer that mesh on the top. You have the leather panels along the side. It is renowned for that thicker mud guard that I think we've all come to know. And that's how you play around with the different color panels. When it comes to the Air Max 90, you mess around with the mud guard there and then that really big heel on the back like that one back there that big heel on the back. It's a signature mark of an Air Max 90. Now we've had a lot of different colorways released based on the original ones that we uh, knew back then. So you guys were able to pick up the vault, uh, the purple, the uh, turquoise just released, but we also had the pink and the hyper blue. And now ladies and gentlemen, the one that I've been waiting for, Okay, you probably don't care about that. <laughs> it is the infrared though. It is on my shirt. So the shirt says higher than air uh, on my shirt here. And yes, I have been holding out for the Air Max 90 infrared to release. I love all the other colors too, but I really, really just wanted that infrared in my collection. But it's, you know, I'm, I'm playing the waiting game. So in that way, I actually pulled the trigger on the Air Max 90, uh, this little guy right here. So this is a Air Max 90 on a chain. Add another swoosh around the neck. So it has all of the upper detailing, including the mud guard. Now the back panel, they do have the, um, the actual overlay that you see here. They have the outline of it. It's not actually that says Nike back there because that is where the piece goes to connect to the actual chain itself. But I have an Air Max 90 guys. I'm very, very excited to add this to my collection. Let me just Whew, zoom on back out there so you guys can see me. Very happy to add this to the collection. So yes, it's technically my very first Air Max 90 pickup of 2020, but it's not a shoe per se. And I know you guys are gonna ask me, hey, where'd you get this? I'm very terribly sorry. Um, I've looked around on eBay, cause trust me, I have friends that have asked about it and I can't seem to find anymore. So yes, it, once again, life is found on eBay. I got these on eBay. I mean, I don't know how you guys don't understand this now. Like life is found on eBay for me. Yeah, I got this. So actually all three of these chains that you guys see, uh, I ended up acquiring on eBay. So shout out to you. eBay is bae, not ahead of Clay Thompson, but eBay is bae. And I'm just very excited to have this. So you guys go ahead, please let me know in the comment section what you think about this bad boy right here. So I got the layer chains definitely going on. Will I add more to the collection? Probably so. I mean, if you guys haven't figured out, yes, I have a fondness of other brands, but when it comes to swoosh, like, I don't know what to tell y'all, okay? It just happens. It really does. It just happens that they're somehow 
way more a part of than just my shoe collection or all of the clothes that I wear too. So you can take a look guys, if you don't know, I mean Air Max 90, they have so many different options. I like the fly knit option because for those that seem to think that the Air Max 90 is bulky, this takes it away because it is such a lightweight shoe that you can do plenty with. Now, I've owned more Air Max 90s over the years. I've just kind of cut back and I've sold some. I do remember the Livestrong uh, Air Max 90 that I had. I absolutely love that thing. You know, I remember I posted on Air Max Day. It was a very first time I got tons of likes. I was like, what is going on here? But I rock this uh, a lot in the spring and summer. Now I'll definitely be spraying this to protect it as I move into that really rainy season, but a great sneaker, great necklace, or at least I think great necklace to add to my collection. So comment down below guys, what do you think? Do you plan on going after any Air Max 90 this year? We know that the infrared is set to have it a re-release, but also the reverse duck camo is set to come out too. So I'm not sure if that's going to sell out as well as the infrared will. I feel a lot of us have hold, have been holding out for that, but you never know what can happen when it comes to sneakers. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.